We have only two days before the next Horde and when Horde Night comes we need to have this base finished and ready to go. So I have spent the night working on the base and this is as far as I got. The most important part is the fighting position, so let's see if we can get that done before we go out to take on the tier 4 infested clear. But before we get cracking, smash the like button if you enjoy the series and subscribe to keep up with new content. Now speaking of greeting zombies good morning, I had a wandering horde last night and they all grouped up right over there. We also have a deer, that could be good, we need some meat, now let's just... Hello sir, are you coming over here? Let's just finish upgrading this. And we are more or less out of cobblestone right now, so we are going to have to go and dig up some more clay. But before we do anything, let's go and say hello to our visitor down here. Sir? Sir? Don't beat on stuff, sir. Good morning! And good morning to you, sir! Ma'am? Ow! <laughs> I missed. Damn. Hello. Good morning. Good morning to you too. You too, nurse. And how about you? There should be two of you, I believe. Ooh, loot bag. Very nice. Is that all? Did we miss someone? No, I think we're good. Let's check the loot. Got some ammo, handgun magazine, pistol quality 2. Nice. And there's the other one, okay. Now let's see about that deer. Can we take it out with an arrow from here, maybe? Yes, we can! <laughs> what a shot! Nice! And the last zombie. Come on, sir. Hello, sir! There we go. And do I have the bone knife? Of course I don't. Of course I don't have the bone knife. Where's the deer? Hello? Dude, seriously? <laughs> there it is. I think. Yes. Alright. Let's carve it up. We are wasting it when uh, using the axe, but uh, when I continuously forget my bone knife, that's just the way it's gonna be. And uh, I'm just gonna gather up a bunch of wood first thing this morning and a bit of clay over at our hole right there. And I will see you guys when I am done. Okay, we have a good amount of wood and clay right now, which should hold us off for a little while, and it sounds like we have a screamer. But where? Should we get her to scream this time? Hello? Miss? Where be you? Oh, hello! Oh, she screamed! What did she uh, <laughs> scream in for us? Oh boy, here's a feral. He's dead. Okay. Radiated. Goddamn, okay. This might be bad. Anyone else? Another screamer. Here we go. <laughs> Come on, guys. I'm right here. Oh, ow. Oh crap, here she comes. We are good. Oh man. She's not dead. There we go. Okay, another screamer. Come on. Oh, she screamed. Crap. Okay. Let's get some distance. Um, There's one. There's one. Only a couple of uh, regular zombies. It seems. I hope so. <laughs> oh, got one egg. Nice. Okay, lumberjack. Oh, he's feral. That's dangerous. Okay, he's dead. You are normal. And you are dead. I hear. At least one more somewhere. Hello. Mo. Two more. Where's the last one? He's dead. There is one more. Hello, miss! Come on, then. That's my bike. <laughs> okay. Well, eventful morning. Anyone else? No? Okay. 
Let's get up here. We need to uh, craft up a bunch more cobblestone and also... Ow. This is weird. Yeah, we need to do something about this. Anyway, we also have these uh, skill magazine bundles that we got. We need to open those and farm bundle. Let's see what we get. Three farm plots and southern farming mushroom. Nice. Two big hitters, uh, shotgun weekly and two forge ahead. We only need four more to get the uh, crucible. Come on, two forge ahead. Nice. Tactical warfare and sharp sticks. Now, hopefully we can actually get to the crucible today or tomorrow. Uh, when we go and uh, do the next job, I don't think we will have the time today because we need to focus a little bit on building first. So I will spend the first part of this episode building on the base and the second part of the episode we will go over there and do the tier 4. Now, okay, I got over 5000 clay, so let's make... 4000 cobblestone rocks to begin with. Now we are actually starting to run out of stone, but I don't think we are going to need much more cement than what we have, to be honest. And I am only going to run two forges with cement for now. This one is our ammo forge. We haven't smelted down any brass or lead here yet. Oh yes, we have. There we go, bullet casings. And we have about 3000 iron. I'm going to save this till the time that we get the crucible, because we are going to need some steel. This one is finished, and we have 4,000 stone, or uh, sand, I mean. And the other ones are almost finished. How much cement do we have? Uh, about 3,000. So let's put on 700 concrete mix in each. Okay, there we go. How are we doing in here? 300, nice. All right, let's get up here. Here we are. The first thing I'm gonna do is to uh, pull up the supports right here. Then we can start to build on the wall. And they are a little bit close together, so I'm a little bit unsure on how I want to make the fighting position. But we will see. Uh, first of all, <laughs> we are extremely hungry and thirsty. And we did have some vitamins right here, which cured our fatigue. And that reminds me that we still have a full inventory over at Jericho Ranch, which we need to uh, get over here. Now, fighting positions. I am thinking one main fighting position right here with a uh, staircase leading up from down below. We don't have to dig a pit right here because it's far enough up as it is, I think. I think I will start with the main fighting position first, but I am thinking about having a secondary and a third fighting position on each side right here just in case they should breach, and then we need to have a way to uh, kind of turn off this fighting position, so uh, it will lead them over to the next one. Okay, so the supports, they come up like this, and it is a little bit narrow, but if we do like this, I think we are able to make a good fighting position, and I am just going to make a regular old fighting position right here. No hocus pocus. Just uh, the thing we are used to, which we know works. But I think in between here, I would like to have some bars. Just so we can uh, shoot through, you know, and see a little bit better. So I think I want to do something like this. And I would like to have a double layer on the outside. But I would like to have a steel hatch on the inside as well, which we can pull up if we need to. So if we put that right there. And we have the steel hatch right here. Holy crap, we have another screamer. <laughs> oh, she scared me. Where is she? There we go. Let's see if we can... Bam! No? Dead? Dead. Good. Okay. That scared me because I just ran through here and I heard her behind me. So what I'm thinking is that we need to have a double layer on the outside right here, like this. And then I want to have a powered door right here, so we can open and close this fighting position, you know. And I have a iron door right here, which we can try with right now. We are going to use only one fighting position for the next horde, because I don't think that we are able to get the whole thing ready. But, if we put it on face like this, put it right there, this is now 
open and the zombies should just fall through and uh, they won't see this as a way to get to me. And hopefully we can get to this door from the other side. Okay, so I can come over here and just open and close the door and we should be fine. I hope. <laughs> okay, let's upgrade the rest. And there we go. That's the fighting position. All we are missing is the hatch right here. And of course, the uh, stairs for the zombies to get up to us. We can go and fix that right now. Whoa, no! Oh boy. <laughs> okay, we are fine. I wasn't supposed to do that, but okay. And of course, we will use the centered pole as a catwalk for the zombies to get over to us. But the question is is three blocks. Too short. Should we pull it out one more, maybe? We can do that. Okay, there we go. This is the fighting position, and we will have stairs on uh, both sides right here, leading up. And I know, <laughs> I know, this is probably a waste of resources, but this is what I saw in my mind, and I think it looks kind of good. I am thinking about building solid stairs like this all the way up. We could also use a sloped block, but I think that would be much easier for the zombies to destroy and it would compromise the fighting position a little bit more than we want to. And there we go. The first set of stairs is done. Zombies come up here. Very far to run. <laughs> Maybe that will give us a little bit of breathing room and then they will come over here Door will be up, and we are ready to fight right here. It looks okay, I think, but I have no idea if this is going to work or if the horde is going to be a failure. But we will find that out on Horde Night. Now, let's get back inside. Now, we almost have nightfall, so I will just spend the night working a little bit more on the base on the top right here, and I will see you guys in the morning. And we have a morning, and the fighting position is more or less done. I put in an iron hatch right here, and also I did put in these two pole blocks right here, because if we put in a plate, we are not going to be able to reach the door and open and close it like that. So it will be like this for now, until we are able to craft the powered doors. Also, I did craft up these uh, roll-up doors right here. I don't know how many hit points these has, but uh, they only took forged iron and um, mechanical parts and springs. So we will try to put them in right here. Are we alone this morning? I did kill one screamer last night. But it seems like we are okay. Okay, let's uh, put these in right here. Nice. These actually look really good, but I am thinking about putting in the powered garage doors later, when we are able to craft them. We are missing about 13 uh, electrician uh, skill magazines, I think. But uh, hopefully this is going to keep them out during the horde, and we are able to craft a steel door to put right here. Now, this looks good. Right, let's get ready to get over to the tier 4 job. And here we are, this is the place. No morning zombie today? No? <laughs> okay, let's uh, at least fuel up the minibike and see if we can put anything in here. I don't think we are going to need the repair kits. Everything looks... yeah, okay. I am going to uh, bring my nail gun and my uh, cubes though, just in case. Let's get over here and start this up. I am a little bit nervous. This is an infested clear, so everything can go wrong right here, I believe. Hello. Okay, let's just uh, start it up. I see no zombie right now. <laughs> let's make sure we are reloaded. And let's get up here. Hello. Here we go. Close the door. Oh boy. This is gonna be interesting. Here we go. Lots of ferals. There should be one more. Here we go. We can take you with club. 
Knock that door out. No? Yes? Okay. Good morning, sir. Check the loot. Okay. Let's just make a wood hatch. And we can put that in the doorway right here. Just in case we need to fall back, right? Okay. Hopefully we are not going to fall through the floor right here. Looks good so far. Crater is open. <laughs> Close that door. Bathroom should be here. Oh, hello. Magnum Enforcer. Nothing much going on in here. Just a few jackets and some cloth. Alright. Uh, do we have lockpicks? We have eight of them. Should we try to lockpick this, maybe? Almost there. Come on. Yes, first try. And we have handgun magazine, one handgun part, and some magnum ammo. Okay. Not the best loot. Bones and iron. Okay, we have our fallback position right there. Let's see. Hello? <laughs> okay. Oh, I'm so scared. <laughs> Oh, man. Come on, knock out the door. There you go. We have one feral. Here they come. Let's use the club. Biker boy. There we go. Okay, fallback position worked. They all came down from the ceiling. Right. What do we have in here? Hello? Ooh. Three zombies, one feral. Come on, biker. Here we go. Man, bikers are tough. Holy hell. We do have a bookcase right here. Vehicle magazine, very nice. But we also need the uh, Forge Ahead books, right? Are we supposed to go out through here? I don't know. Could do it though. Any more zombies up here? Oh, bubbles! Bubbles! <laughs> I didn't see you there. Oh man, we have an ammo pile. Can we close pile? Yeah, that's fine. Let's see if we can get to this. Here we go. A little bit of uh, gunpowder, another burning shaft mod, and some arrows. And that seems to be it for up here. Let's run back. Ooh, nerdy glasses. That's actually the first pair we've found, I think. Anyone in here? Hello, spider monkey, sir. Ow, Jesus. Okay, we are good. I think that's it for upstairs, actually. Lots of doors, lots of walls. <laughs> Come on out. No? I see one right there. Let's use an arrow. There we go. We got a lot of dots. Oh, she's angry. Hello? Who woke up? Here we go. Come on then. There we go. And we got three more. In there, probably. Oh, they woke up. Okay, let's uh, run up the stairs right here. Couple of ferals. Come on then. Here we go. Oh, oh, too close. Too close for comfort. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Uh, we should probably use a bandage. Oh no. What do we have right there? Oh crap. Upstairs. To our truck point. <laughs> Christ. Okay, we are good. Here we go. Oh, hello, sir. Oh, shit. They are going to break through here fast. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. He's out. <laughs> Is he dead? I think so. Don't break my hatch, sir. 
Okay, this is not gonna work. Oh, crap. Here we go. Holy shit. <laughs> oh, man. Survivalist is no joke, especially when you have zombies like this and uh, a scary pants like me. Okay, I'll eat the ravioli, of course. Might as well eat the chili as well. Okay, we are not clear yet. Let's reload our guns. Probably smart, right? And let's uh, loot uh, the main floor right here. Not sure if there is much to loot, though. We have a garage. Not sure if that's clear yet. Does this give out? I don't think so. Okay, give me good books. Mm, Iron Breaker mod. That's nice. Tools Digest. Handgun Magazine. Two big hitters. We are almost maxed out on big hitters. Just one more and we are there. Yeah, not much going on in the kitchen. We did get two home cookings, though. And a little bit of scrap right here. Let's just do that. We can eat this and drink some water so we don't get thirsty. Okay, we have downstairs and we have the garage right here. Wonder, is this clear? Nope, it is not. Oh! <laughs> oh Christ, what do we have? Oh boy, I see you sir. Oh no. Oh, this is not gonna work. Oh crap, we need to run. Oh shit, oh shit. Get up here, get up here. Go, go, go. I don't know where to go. <laughs> we have no choke point. Oh crap. Here we go. Oh, this is not gonna work. Down we go. Oh crap. Oh, you are just jumping right down there, aren't you? Come on, just die. Oh crap! Okay. Okay. Ow! Lumberjack is next. Oh, you are feral. Sir, 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 sir. Jesus Christ. We need to reload. Uh oh, uh oh, this is bad. Come on, just die. Club! No! <laughs> oh no! Our first death of the series. Oh man. Would you look at that? Well, that happened. Obviously. <laughs> oh man. Oh boy, that was a little bit harder. Than I anticipated. They hit hard. And uh, our armor is worth nothing. And now we have nothing. Okay. Let's uh, naked and afraid run over to get our stuff. Hopefully they have despawned and everything is okay. Are we good to get our stuff? They must have despawned, right? Oh, it seems like we have a wandering horde right here. Okay, get our stuff back. Oh boy. Oh boy. Yeah. Not sure if I'm gonna finish uh, the POI though. Or are we? We are not clear! You are back! Oh sir, no! Ow! No, 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 no! I'm not gonna die again! What am I doing? <laughs> oh man, I suck! You did not see that! I'm gonna edit this out. Okay, so now we have a problem. <laughs> we went from zero deaths in the series to two in a row. With only one minute in between. Oh man, what's happening to us? This does not look good for the horde. But I'm not gonna end the series yet. I am not. We are going to finish the base. We are going to do the next horde. And I would also like to do a couple of tier 5 POIs before we call the end of the series. You know what? Before we die again, we have a skill point, right? Put that into Machine Gunner right away. <laughs> oh man. Oh, this is embarrassing. 
But it did happen. They hit so goddamn hard. Those radiated uh, lumberjacks and bikers. It's insane. Okay, we have the mini bike right here if we need to make an escape. I have nothing, sir. Can you just go away? We have to fight with guns. That's fine. And you are just dead. Okay. So, the lumberjack is probably still in here. How are we going to get our stuff? I don't want to go through the house again. Might as well check the mailbox while we are here. Spear hunter. Really? Come on. Okay, give me one stone. There we go. Right. So, we have been reduced to this. <laughs> Crafting up stone axes to uh, get inside here to get our stuff. No. Okay, that's better. Uh, can we reach? Yes. We can reach. What's this? Okay, awesome. Okay, you know, I'm done with that job. <laughs> Crap. Okay, I'll see you guys back at home. Here we are. Whoa! Airdrop! Okay, I'm going back out. Let's hope for a skill magazine bundle so we can craft up that crucible. And here we go, it just landed. Let's cross our fingers and toes. Skill magazine bundle, please. Yes, and forge ahead. Nice, we only need one more. Ooh, nail gun. That's not bad. Okay, before we go anywhere, let's... Oh, we have no room. Okay. Let's um, stash a few things in here. And open this up. Two forge head books. There we go. We can craft a crucible. Two big hitters. We can now craft the steel club quality five. And bow hunters. All right. Primitive bow quality three. Awesome. Right. Let's get back home and craft up that crucible. And here we are. Home sweet home. Close the door. So we did have a couple of embarrassing <laughs> mishaps in this episode and I'm going to stand here with this stone axe as penalty and hopefully we can redeem ourselves in the next one. I am going to end this episode a little bit early. I'm going to continue during the day and night working on the base and crafting up the crucible. So guys, I really hope you enjoy this one. Please like the video and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already done so. Thank you so much for watching and as always, I will see you all in the next one. Bye-bye. <laughs>